Brawl Stars has a massive problem. This video is going to be a bit different than what you guys are normally used to. Now, everything I'm going to be talking about today is going to be 100% my own opinion, but most of these opinions are very commonly shared between top players, pro players, and basically anyone connected to the top end of Brawl Stars. Now, Supercell refers to this top end group as the 1%. Now, obviously, most of you guys aren't going to be here, and obviously, most of you guys don't make content or play professional like I do. But if you love the game just like I do, and you plan on playing it until you achieve most of your goals, then you guys are going to see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, first off, I would like to say Brawl is literally at its peak right now. The game has never been bigger in the 5-year, 6-year, even 7-year history if you want to go back all the way to Day 1 Beta as it is right now. But I feel like the top players in the game are very neglected. First topic, Ranked. It's horrible. There is zero competitive aspect to it. I remember having a very long discussion with some members of the Brawl Stars team where we spoke a lot about Ranked and how we can get Power League to appeal to the masses and get everyone in the game to play it just like they do ladder. Supercell added modifiers to excite the gameplay, make things a little bit more fun for the casual player, while also giving star drops and skins as rewards. Now obviously with the game doing so well and the fresh new thing called Ranked, the mode was bound to do better, but apparently there is an increase of players on the mode and the mode did become more popular, which of course is great. Going back to my conversation with some of the Supercell employees, a big thing that I was trying to tell them is there needs to be some type of reward at the very top. We did come to an agreement that during the middle, you know, the bronze, silver, gold, etc., the low ranks of Power League, there needs to be a way to make it more enticing. A best of three draft wasn't very smart in silver because who wants to play 10 minutes for one game. I really like what Brawl Stars did, making it a best of one, making it no draft, and making it super easy and simple for new players to pick up in the lower ranks. But with that being said, I really don't like how they just completely ignored the high ranks. In Brawl Stars' most competitive mode, which is quite literally called ranked, there is no competitiveness as there's no reason to push above masters. There is not one single reward or achievement you have for pushing the leaderboard, pushing above masters, anything like that. I think for a mode that's supposed to be the competitive mode of Brawl Stars, to have no reason to push high up literally just makes no sense to me. And as a player who can reach the highest rank in, you know, just four or five hours, when there's an entire month of nothing and I can only play for four or five hours, I feel like that's just not very fun or very cool for the higher end players. Now, I'm not just talking about myself. There were thousands and thousands and thousands of players who reached Masters last season with just nothing to do after they hit it. And if that's not bad enough, where there's only, I guess, leaderboards to show off your skill and to show your achievement, even the leaderboards don't even work. Once you hit 10,000 ELO, that is the cap. Although you can push above it, I've seen players at 12,000, 11,000, the game recognizes 12,000 the same way it recognizes 10,000. Whoever has more trophies on the ladder leaderboard, not even ranked, the ladder leaderboard gets the higher placement on the ranked leaderboard. There is literally just nothing for a top player to do in ranked. No achievements, no reward, not even a leaderboard for ranked. I think this is a real issue for Brawl Stars because ranked is supposed to be the competitive mode. It's where all the top end players are supposed to go and play and try and do their very best in the most competitive atmosphere. If there is literally no reason to push, then Brawl Stars, in my opinion, has failed its job on ranked. I don't just want to complain though. For all the points I make, I want to be able to properly explain how I would fix it because I don't like when people just complain without offering any solution. First and foremost, you have to remove the elo cap. I know this isn't really a big change, but this would at least allow the top players to have a reason to push and try and hit number one as it's actually achievable now. Number two, which I didn't even cover, fix dodging. Dodging is a huge issue at the top and anyone can dodge and just escape it, no penalty basically. Lastly, I think there needs to be some type of reward for pushing on the leaderboard. I don't know how many of you played back when power play was a thing, but before you used to get your highest power play finish on your profile. I think if beside your master's icon or even in the master's icon, if it said your highest finish, whether it's 13, 300, 
number one, that would be a really cool way to flex and be able to show your achievement. Our second topic today is going to be ladder. Now that we covered ranked, which is one half of the gameplay of the game, we are going to go to ladder, which is the other half of the game. Once you reach a certain point on ladder, you can basically no longer play the game. Again, I know I'm an anomaly. Most people are not like me, but let's take me for example. After Worlds, which was the very end of November, a little bit more than only four months ago, I was 58,000 trophies. When streaks got added to the game, which by the way is one of my favorite features ever, and I decided, you know what, it's time for me to get my trophies up because I'm a little bit embarrassed. After only two months, I hit 93,000 trophies, which was a really cool and awesome experience to be able to push that high. But then after I did that, I realized, well, I can't play the game anymore. As you guys can see, basically every single one of my brawlers is rank 35. And if you have a rank 35 brawler, it takes five to seven minutes just to get one ladder game. All the brawlers that I love playing, all the brawlers that are good at the game, and all the brawlers even that I make rank 35 content on and push in one day when they come out. All of these brawlers, I just can't play anymore because they have too many trophies. I quite literally have 13 brawlers left on my account that I can play where I don't need to wait at least five minutes for one match and all of them I just don't like playing. So on top of the fact that ranked isn't really playable and there is no reason to actually play the mode, I now also can't play ladder either. Well, I have a mini account and I've been playing on my mini account quite a lot. But my issue with this is not everyone has a mini account. Not everyone can afford a mini account. Not everyone has the time to have a mini account. And it's just, I don't know. I don't think that's a suitable solution. So how would I fix it? To be honest, I don't know. I've played Brawl Stars for seven years now, all the way back to beta, and they have had over five, maybe even 10 different ways of brawlers resetting at the end of a season. I think the current system they are very happy with because they've kind of decided they're gonna neglect the top end of Brawl Stars and just, you know, kind of appeal to the masses, which nobody in their right mind would want their brawlers to be tilted for no reason which to be honest i understand unless that person you're talking to is in that one percent of players i think there needs to be some way to kind of reset your account a little bit i think you should keep your stats and your achievements and everything that you've earned over the time of playing brawl stars but there needs to be some way outside of just queuing into a game and throwing other people's trophies where you can tilt your brawlers and actually enjoy the game now i know this sounds kind of silly but I can't play ladder and I really can't play ranked. So what can I really actually play on Brawl Stars at this point? And again, I know I'm kind of an anomaly. I'm a pro player, so I have it a little bit better than everyone else. I can do scrims. I do content as well, so I can make videos. Most people don't have those perks. Most people can't do that, so they really just can't play the game once they reach a certain mark. My third and most important point here is going to be lack of rewards. Now, Supercell, Frank, Danny, Adrian, anyone, if you're watching this, I don't mean it as in like you don't reward us because believe me, I understand exactly how lucky we are with the mastery, with the trophy road, with ranked, you know, boxes, star drops, whatever you want to call them, we get a lot of stuff. But by rewards, I more so mean like a reason to kind of grind at the top of the game. Let's say Clash of Clans, for example. They used to reward their top players and top clubs with gems, which is kind of crazy. I don't think we deserve gems, but they did used to have some type of reward for pushing every season. Like I said earlier, a highest finish on your profile is pretty good. Just slight things like this that can actually show off your grind and what you did is exactly what the top players are looking for. Having a master's logo and your highest finish either in it or beside it or just anything like that would be really cool and something that top players would grind for. But I also have some cool other ideas. For example, you can have a pretty basic Shelly or Colt skin that is kind of like a jersey and it represents your highest finish. So let's say you finish 313th in the world in ranked. Well, then you get that skin and then it has the number 313 on the back, kind of like a jersey number. Let's say you finish 989th, then the jersey says 989. Let's say you get second, one spot off of first place, just like me at Worlds, unfortunately. Then you get the number two on the back of your skin. I think something like this can be really awesome because it can give a bunch of players reason to actually grind. If you get number 300, well, then next season you can grind and try and get number 250. Or for some players that maybe aren't that good, they can try and get in the top 1,000 and get a skin like that for the first time, which would be an ultimate flex to their friends. Just rewards like that and reason to actually achieve your goals is really what's missing in Brawl Stars right now for a top player. I think Brawl Stars has reached the point where they're pretty happy with what they have right now in Ranked and in Ladder, and I understand that, and I know I'm part of the 1%. 
but I don't think that means you ignore the 1% or say, hey, you guys don't really get to play our game. I think there needs to be at least something for us to do. For ladder achievements, I think something like a title would be really awesome. I like how Brawl Stars has moved away from titles being exclusive to Brawlers only as they give them away in Brawl Passes now. I think if you hit 50k, you can get a cool little neat title. If you hit 60k, 75k, heck, even 100k. If you hit Gold and Ranked, Masters and Ranked, Mythic and Ranked, Legendary, Similarly, I think a title would be really cool to give to that as well. To conclude, I know most of you guys don't have these issues, but if you're going to play the game for a long time, you probably are going to have them eventually. And if you look at how I or many other top players experience the game, it's just not very fun and there's really nothing to do in the game anymore. As for Supercell, I hope you see this as constructive. I'm not trying to bash the game or do anything like that. And I'm super happy as a pro player and content creator that the game is doing well. I just hope that my experience as a player could be a little bit better because to be honest, it kind of sucks right now.